hope you're all doing well this week. I am doing pretty well myself. I am going to head outdoors today and share with you some of the different things that we're getting done around here this week as far as the garden goes. It's sunny, so surprise, surprise, I want to be outside. I don't like being inside. Um, and I'm going to get as much done in the next couple of days. We had rain earlier in the week and now it's going to be sunny, it says in the forecast, all the way through the weekend. Something really exciting, later on today I have a guy coming here to measure the area and also give me sort of an idea of how much it's going to cost to build the pergola next to the pool. That is going to be so wonderful to have because we have a really terrible umbrella out there. It always blows over and it just doesn't look, it doesn't look the way that I want it to look. And I'm really excited to get um, that going. And so that's another one of our projects, but I won't be able to share with you it on this video because I don't know when he's going to be able to start it, but I know it doesn't take more than a day to get it done. So maybe on the next video or the video after. So I have that going on today, later on, and then I have some roses I got soaking outside. I got those going earlier this morning because they need to soak for 8 to 12 hours before planting. I'm going to get those into the ground. We've had breakfast, and this is one of those things. I used to get up, make breakfast, hurry up, get it cleaned, and get on with the day. And lately, I have really been reevaluating the way that I do things or used to do things. And I'm sort of just being a lot more mindful of my time and not trying to rush through all the things that I have to get through, but to take my time with them. And if I don't get things done, I just push it to the following day. Um, and that might seem unproductive, but what it's really done for me is to sort of calm myself down a bit more and bring a sense of peace here if that makes any sense. I don't know if you're somebody that likes to rush through everything and get as much as you can done, or if you're somebody that has always taken your time. I don't know, there's such a difference because I used to work in an office set hours years ago, and I have that mindset still of getting up, getting as much done as possible. Previous to that, when my daughter was really young, I was a stay-at-home mom. So I know there's a lot of you that are retired. Some of you are stay-at-home moms now and homemakers. And so you've sort of redone your mornings uh, versus from when you were maybe working at one point in your life. I've just been sort of taking time and making a nicer breakfast and not necessarily pancakes during the week. But today I just so happened to have extra sourdough starter sitting out and I need to use some of that because my jar is getting a little too full and I don't have any bread to bake for today. So I use that for pancakes. I will link my sourdough pancake recipe for you in the description box below. And I added blueberries because they were starting to soften and I do not like to throw things like that out. So we had that this morning and it's just nice whether I'm making something lighter or something quicker uh, to sit there and allow us to have a cup of coffee, a conversation, and then start the day. And um, it's just been really lovely. Right now what I'm gonna do before I head out there is I'm gonna get my crock pot out or my slow cooker out. And that's not something you see here. I don't use them very often, but on days where I'm gonna have a very physical day like today, I like to get it out, put something in there, and then be able to just come into the house, clean up, and have dinner already made, and I don't really have to fuss with it. And that's what I'm gonna do right now. I'm gonna get a roast going for shredded beef sandwiches later. I was gonna make a pot roast yesterday because it was raining, uh, but it wasn't thawed enough in the middle, so I saved it for today, but I will not have time to make a pot roast today. So I'm gonna do this. I don't know, I don't have a recipe, but it's just an idea I have in my head to use it, and hopefully those come out well. Uh, we'll see later. I'm going to get that going right now and then we're going to head outside.
have consistently been coming out whenever the rain clears up enough to clean up the beds and now we're on the final beds to be done today. After the beds were weeded, I cleaned out the rabbit's cage and added his droppings to add a little bit of organic matter to each of the beds. We came in for a lunch break and a coffee break and at the same time the Amazon driver just drove away and left my package I just ordered and it was the netting I needed for the garden beds. For those of you that have followed me for any length of time you know that I've been dealing with pocket gophers and I know a lot of you are in other countries and you don't deal with gophers but they're these underground animals that come up they eat the roots of your plants and they are completely annihilated. They are such destructive little critters. And so I got this netting, uh, both like a basket netting and then a wire netting to go into the garden beds because I have called the pest control company so many times on these things, but once one is taken care of, another one quickly seems to move back in. So I almost always have one or two gophers on the property and that's just the way it is living in the country. So let me show you what I got and I'm gonna be installing these hopefully today when we go back out. I got these metal like bags that you place plants inside and there's all different sizes um, inside the package. So I'm gonna use these to plant a few of our roses today. And I got this roll that I'm gonna cut to size on each of the garden beds. Planting a garden takes an incredible amount of patience and understanding that what we often do today is to be enjoyed later. The work I'm doing today is the perfect example of this. I am planting three new climbing roses near trellises that will create a vibrant addition. Realistically, these will take two or even three years to properly fill in. Digging the holes in early spring makes it much easier since the ground is soft from all the rain. I have placed the mesh bags inside each of the holes to further protect the plants. Most of these beds have been for annual plants only and lie bare during the fall and winter months. I have decided to plant out a few with permanent plants, leaving only what's necessary for our vegetable beds. Okay, I think that's deep enough. Whenever planting roses, I add a good amount of planting mix and bone meal, and this has been a winning combination for planting roses on our property. This makeshift brick bed is a hot spot for gophers. 
and if I want to continue using it, I will need to add some wire flooring to the bottom of it. This was once filled with beautiful tulips, and I came out one spring afternoon, and half of them had been eaten, and the next day, the rest. I'm going to be transplanting a fairly large rose that I've had in a container that it's grown too large for. It is so large that the mesh bags won't work, so instead I'm going to cut a piece of the wire roll to fit the bottom. had this rose bush for about three years now and it's been needing a new home. I think the brick bed will be perfect for it. Transplanting always makes me a little nervous as some plants are hardier than others. I use the same method for roses that I do in planting them, adding planting mix and some bone meal. Back inside, I've added the bell peppers to the roast that's almost finished cooking. I have some sandwich rolls that I'm going to toast in a pan and then spread with cream cheese. And then fill with our meat mixture. This was a delicious end to a very long day in the garden.